In this video, we're going to be going over Tiny Llama, a tiny but powerful 1.1 billion parameter large language model that we're going to get up and running on your computer today. So let's just jump right into the video. So this is the GitHub repo. So Tiny Llama was trained on 3 trillion tokens. Um, it's a 1.1 billion parameter model. It uses the same architecture and tokenizer as Llama 2. Um, but the main goal of this is to be a lot smaller and more compact. So that way you can run it on a lot more devices. And this right here, if you go over, you can just type in Tiny Llama and you'll see the 1.1 billion parameter chat uh, version one. And that's the one you can download. Um, but we're gonna use uh, LM Studio to download it. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get LM Studio up and running and then how to download the model as well. So just visit lmstudio.ai. I'll have all the links below in the description. So you, what you're gonna do is look for what your device is. If you have a Mac, this is what I'm running. So you'll just click download right here. If you have a Windows, you'll download that. And same for Linux. And if you scroll down, this is what it looks like. And this is the things that you can do with it. Once you have LLM Studio downloaded, it's gonna look like this. This is what the homepage looks like. And what you'll do is you'll click here. We're just gonna type in Tiny Llama. And, and we're gonna see we have a bunch of different models loaded up. So we're gonna look for the best one. And this is right here is version three. So we don't want that. We want version one. And version one's right here. And these are all the quantized models. So the lower in quantization you go, the less memory it's gonna be on your computer, but it's not gonna run as well. It's not gonna be as powerful as a model. It's not gonna perform as well, and the responses are not gonna be as good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down, and we're gonna install this one right here. And what you can do is you just click down here and you can see the models downloading. And if you click over here, you'll be able to see my models, and you'll be able to see the downloaded models that you've downloaded. If you click over here on local server, you can start a local server and you can run the model as if you were using it like ChatGPT, but locally on your computer. So if you want to call to the server from a different application or something like that, you can do that as well. And then over here we have our chat interface. Okay, so the model has downloaded. You can see it's finished. And we'll just exit out of that and we'll go over here to my models and you can see it over here as well. And if we scroll over, you can click on the information of the model and then you can also delete the model as well so what we're going to do is we'll go over to the chat and then you can select the model that you want to use so we're going to use this one if you go over here you can edit the system prompt and if you scroll down you can edit the context length as well you can also edit the temperature and some of the other variables as well so let's just start out with asking it what to plus two Okay, so I got that right. Let's ask it to write some Python code. The response from this model is extremely fast. Like that wrote that super quick. So if you wanna export it as a screenshot, you can click right here to export it. And if you want to regenerate the response, you can also do that as well. So this gave us a very wrong answer. And this looks wrong as well. If you look down here, you can see the time to the first token. You can see the total generation time. And then you can see the speed of each token per second and like the stop reason, and then the total token count. We'll ask it one more question. This is the color blue, so I just wanna see if it knows what it is. Um, and then you guys can go play around with the model yourself and do what you guys want. So I'm also gonna be creating a fine tuning video um, on how to fine tune this model uh, with your custom data set. So if you have like, if you want it to be in JSON format or you have custom information that you want the model to know, it's good to fine tune a model like this, especially since it's small. It won't take too long. You can do it on Google Collab Notebook. So it's pretty easy to do. All right, y'all, I appreciate you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, just drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I started my Discord community, so if you guys wanna join, all the information is below in the description. So I hope to see you guys in there.